Well hi folks and welcome. This week we're going to give you a very special look and a very different look at Pit Lockery and I'll also be sharing with you a very, very special painting. There's a place we can go Where I can be And I can be free Well, I went there with some friends A long time ago We climbed good fell Took a little photo And I'm held by the memory From long, long ago And all that remains Is that little photo When you took my Two became one, and it's for you, my darling, that I sing this song. We will climb in the mountains, and together we'll be in a constant state of bliss and purest harmony. Take my hand and go with me in a land called Aaron from you to me, for it's beautiful to know there's a place we can go where we. Folks, I didn't notice you there. Sneaking up on me, were you? I was just working on a new song. Um, yeah, sitting here just contemplating and looking out the window, listening to the birds, and surrounded by all this beauty. You know, it just brings back a lot of memories. And um, it's really funny sometimes when, when writing a song because it's like words just flow to you. You hear a word or a phrase, and next thing you know, you've got a Get a verse, then you develop a chorus, and before you know it, a little song starts coming together. It's kind of like a painting. I hear a word or a phrase or a piece of music, and I can visually see it. I can visually see what people are saying to me. And it ends up being something really cool on canvas. Okay folks, and here we go. Welcome to a different look at Pit Lockery, which remains a popular tourist destination and resort to this very day. It's particularly known for its celebration of art which began in 1951 when John Stewart created the Pit Lockery Festival Theatre, which, incidentally, was originally held in a tent. The world-famous Salmon Ladder is also a main feature here and this is a wonderful place for all hill walkers and photographers. It's surrounded by some of the most stunning mountains in Scotland, perhaps even in the world. Pitlockery is largely a village town which developed into a tourist resort after Queen Victoria and Prince Albert visited the area in, in 1842 and bought a highland estate at Balmoral at the arrival of the railway in 1863. The town has retained many of its stone Victorian buildings and the high street has an unusual period cast iron canopy over one side. This is definitely a place and a must for any photographer, nature lovers and hill walkers. Heck, even artists, musicians and so many more have got and created amazing inspiration from this very place. 
And that brings us to a fun and exciting topic that folks around the world you have been asking about. The Highland Games. What exactly are the Highland Games? Why are they so popular? I'll be telling you about that and so much more later in the show. So let me tell you a little bit about this painting. It was a commissioned piece for a very, very good friend of mine in Cardiff. And she wanted a painting that was beautiful and bright, so colourful that it was almost lifelike. And she loved butterflies. So I set to work on one of the biggest canvases I could find. And I began putting together the painting that we now call Fly Away. Folks, now I want to turn our attention to the Highland Games, and let's explain to you what they're all about. The Scottish Highlands are a place of beauty and mystery. They are also the home of that most enduring of Scottish customs, the Highland Games. Every summer, hundreds of towns and villages throughout Scotland play host to this most Scottish of spectacles. Spectators from far and wide come together to watch strong men and women from Scotland and all over the world compete in sports that date back to the earliest days of the clan system. According to legend, Malcolm Canmore, King of Scots, hosted the first gathering in the 11th century. Back then, clan chieftains would select their fiercest clansmen to battle it out in tests of brute strength and speed. Highland Games continued throughout the centuries in one form or another, until the 19th century. With the failed Jacobite rebellions came a crackdown on traditional Highland culture and the games swiftly went into decline. In fact, they might have disappeared completely if it wasn't for Queen Victoria. During her honeymoon in Scotland with Prince Albert, the Queen famously fell in love with the country and culture. After purchasing Balmoral Castle in Royal Deeside, she single-handedly sparked a revival of the games by reintroducing the Braemar Gathering in 1832. Today, they are celebrated on a global scale, with games held in the USA, Canada, Australia, New Zealand and South Africa, to name a few. So what actually happens at a modern-day Highland Games? The truth is no two games are exactly the same, but this is how the day typically unfolds. Things kick off with a chieftain's parade, which sees the chieftain of the games lead a procession of pipe bands, athletes and highland dancers. 
usually from the main square of the local town or village to the game's field or arena. The gripping spectacle then gets underway. With heavy weight and athletic events, piping and highland dancing competitions. The caber toss is probably the most famous of the heavy events and what most people picture when they think of the games. Competitors lift a huge wooden pole and try to hurl or toss it in as straight a line as possible. The caber itself is traditionally made from larch, measures around six metres in length and can weigh up to 80 kilograms. The distance that the caber travels isn't important. The aim of the game is to toss it over so that it lands in a 12 o'clock position. Another heavy event spectacle is the hammer throw. You've probably already seen this event at the Olympics. The original Scottish version involves the competitor trying to throw a metal ball as far as possible, but instead of a steel wire, the ball is attached to a wooden shaft. This means the Scottish hammer thrower has to keep their feet fixed to the spot. Throwers wear special shoes with metal blades attached to the soles to help them keep their balance. Other popular events include weight for height, where athletes attempt to toss a weight over a horizontal bar using only one hand, and the stone putt, which is very similar to the Olympic event, except athletes are allowed a running start. There are also plenty of track and field events which take place around the Games arena. Many races can be joined by spectators, so you too can be a Highland Games competitor. Then we have Highland Dancing, a discipline which requires just as much endurance and strength as the heavies. Scotland's graceful and highly complex dance is performed on the spot throughout. Some say this harks back to the days when clansmen of old danced it on their studded shields following victory in battle. Others say the dance is a natural evolution of the real dance at Cayley's. Whatever the truth, the sight of agile kilted dancers performing the Highland Fling, Sword Dance and Shown Through Us is a highlight of the day. And what would a Highland Games be without the bagpipes? Alongside pipe band, drumming and solo piping competitions, there is also the highly prestigious Peabrock, the classical form of bagpiping. Evocative and rich, the unmistakable drone of the pipes is the soundtrack to the day. As you can see, Highland Games take place in a huge variety of settings. But above all, they are a spectacular celebration of community spirit and Scottish identity, as well as a chance for you to partake in the very best in traditional Highland sport, culture and hospitality. So there you go folks, everything that you wanted to know about the Highland Games, now you know. Let's finish this little painting off, shall we? So now 
Now you are ready to fly away And trying to make it on your own In your own special way No matter where you are or where you go Well guys, I really hope you enjoyed that episode of The Artist House. Don't forget to follow us on YouTube so you can see the entire series. Please, 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 if you like the show, if you like the tutorials, even if you like the songs, feel free to share and comment, guys, because that's how we spread the word, and that's how we continue doing what we do. Guys, until next time, I have loved being your host. Take care of one another, be at peace with one another, love one another. Until next time, take care. And watching and waiting your guardian angel When you're afraid I'll be there In the darkness, shield you with a leaving Just go out and I'll be right there Watching and waiting your guy